Hey guys! Okay, so today I'm going to be doing a eyeshadow tutorial. I guess, yep, that's what they're called. Um, on with the Lorac Pro. I asked for it for my birthday, but I think I asked for it like the day of my birthday. So I didn't get it, but I bought it on my own. Um, I got this from Ulta and it was like 42, I want to say. And I did so much research before buying this. I wanted another eyeshadow palette. I have the Naked 2, which I really like, but it just has so many shimmer colors. There's not a wide range of options for other colors. So I looked into basically every single palette there is. I looked in, I was thinking about, it. okay, so it was between the Naked 1 and the Lorac Pro palette, and I just decided to go with this because I already have the Naked 2, and I wanted to get, um, like a feel for another brand. I really don't use single eyeshadows. I mainly use palettes. Well, now that I have two palettes, um, I don't know. I just don't really wear eyeshadow all that often. Um, so I don't need a whole bunch, but I really wanted a new one. And the, and I could go, if you guys really wanted, I could um, make a video talking about all the other palettes that I was looking at and why I didn't get them. But so here it is. Looks like this. Now this color is coming off really blue but I promise it's gray. So there is a row of shimmers and a row of mattes which is why I really really liked this palette because you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight eight shimmers and eight neutrals and you even or eight mattes and you even have like two shimmer like bases and two matte bases and it's kind of they kind of go side by side this is weird I can see myself anyways I will show you the pigmentation on these are amazing so here is one of them let's see. Here, I'll show you. They just feel like butter when you rub your fingers on them, and it's amazing. I love it. So there you go. Those are just some of the colors. And when you, like, go to swatch them, they are still just as amazing. See, that's such... Oops. Such rich colors. I was really impressed by it when I was in um, Ulta looking at all the different palettes. I was testing out palettes on the back of my hand and the Lorac Pro 2 has um, a blue in it and I was like, oh, I'll just try this out and I put it on my hand and it would not come off. I tried rubbing it off for so long and it would not come off and I was like, maybe this is a sign that this palette is amazing and it is. Um, Yep, see, so it's not coming off well. Anyways, so in the package, this is what it looks like, the Lorac Pro palette. Um, and you also get a mini, this is the behind the scenes eye primer, which I love. Um, I'll talk about it more in a second. As you can tell, I filmed the intro after I finished the video because I will have no makeup on in a second and it's, a little scary I apologize but yeah so I really really recommend this palette it's amazing um, I love it and it's great so let's get into the tutorial so I'm just going to start off by using the little um, primer that came in the kit this is the Lorac behind the scenes eye primer eyeshadow primer and I'm sorry about my face right now I don't have any foundation or anything on we're just working with what we've got. So, um, I have tried this palette once before and I wore it all day long and it stayed amazing. 
so I'm not positive if it's, if it's the primer or if it's just the eyeshadows, but it didn't crease, it didn't like rub off or anything, it stayed on all day long and it was during um, a DECA competition, which is like a marketing competition thing, and so we were there from like 7 until 2 and then I had cheer practice and then we had a game, so it lasted pretty long. And this is what the front of it looks like it's kind of like angled so you can actually just like apply it straight to your eyes but I'm just gonna apply it with my finger so then just with a flat brush this is um, elf's sea shadow I'm going to take oops it's upside down I'm going to take nude. Now depending on if oh my face. Depending on if you have lighter or tanner skin. If you have tanner skin, I would go with the champagne. If you have lighter skin, like me, I'd go with nude. And I'm just gonna put that all over my eyelids. actually just mixed in a little bit of the champagne just because I felt like it wasn't really giving me the color I wanted. The uh, like a little blending brush and take this color ex <laughs> um, this color taupe and put it on my outer corners kind of making a V shape around the corner of the eye. Now, as you can see, some of it did kind of blend a little too far on this side, so I'm just going to take my nude again and just go over it to brighten it back up. Now I'm going to take another blender brush and just go in with ex oh, Jesus with espresso and go in just on the outer corner, just a little bit. Gonna take the mauve color right there with a uh, this kind of a brush and just kind of go on the inside of my eye and across my lid I didn't really love the way that the brown was looking on my eyes so I went over in sable sorry I can't talk in sable where I had gone over with the taupe. Taking the white color right here and going, well, I'll show you, and going up to lighten up the eye. And then on the inner corners. And then I'm gonna take the cream, the color right next to it, and go directly where my eyeball lays. That makes sense. Um, this is just gonna lighten your eyes up a lot and really focus the um, colors and everything on your eyes. And then I'm just going to blend this. And I'm going to go do the rest of my makeup and I'll be back. Okay, so here is the finished look. I kind of realized I should have showed you putting my mascara on because it made it look a hundred times better. But I decided, whatever, I'm not going to start filming again. So here's the look. Yeah, so I hope you guys liked it and let me know if you guys try it out. I realized how extremely close I am. If you guys um, try it out, tweet me or comment down below and I'd love to see your creations of it. I'll talk to you guys later.